Hello gamers! Wow, that was a bit weird not saying retro gamers, but for this review I'm doing something a little bit different. Not only is this not a review for a retro game, but it's not even a modern game that has anything to do with retro gaming at all. The developer flung me a message asking if I'd review their game, and I thought why not. I actually have a diploma in game development that orbited around mobile app development, so I'm happy to help the industry in any way I can. Germs is an arcade Android game that's slated for a May 31st release. For this review I'm playing a pre-release version on a Samsung Galaxy S3 and a Nexus 7 Generation 2 tablet. Germs has you defending an unknown human against a barrage of germs, but I'm guessing will cause this particular human all sorts of grief. It's probably that one kid who was in your primary school class that was always sick. You know the one I'm talking about. You felt sorry for them, and so do I, so it's time to do our part. Luckily there are some handy electric fences that the germs can be dragged into to eliminate them. In the easy mode there are two different types of germs and two different colour coded areas that will cause their extermination. Each germ must be thrown into the correctly coloured electric fence or the round will be over. On top of that, if you have a germ floating around for too long, it will somehow escape causing you to lose again. The longer you play around, the faster the germs will spawn, causing the game to gradually get more and more difficult. It's a very interesting concept indeed, and it's not one I've personally seen in any other arcade game. The unique gameplay leaves a lot of room for sequels and the like, so it's a very playable arcade concept. The first thought I had was that it would be great if there were more varied germs, but then I realised there was totally another mode that did that. That's the hard mode, where the two different germs turn to four, which escalates the gameplay quite a bit. It is a great concept, and for the most part I really like this game, but it's not perfect. The major issue I have is the balance of how the gameplay difficulty rises. For a long while there will be hardly any germs on screen, but that amount will suddenly explode, overwhelming the player. There is an icon of a lightning bolt that will suddenly kill everything on screen, but as far as I can see it can only be used once per round, and there is no way to earn more. With that, the on-screen action gets a bit too crowded, making it hard to push the desired germ into the right fence. More than a few times, the game picked up the wrong germ I was aiming for, which resulted in the round ending as it went into the wrong fence. I feel that a bigger playing field could solve this problem, but then again I understand that it would make it harder again if the germs were too small on screen. Oh well, it's not my job to fix the problem I guess, I'm on strict reviewing duty for today. The graphics aren't particularly groundbreaking, but they are quite functional. The main environment is a bit plain, but it gets the job done. Like I've said many times before, graphics never makes or breaks the game for me, I rate it on how fun it is. I do like the character design though, and I find all the different wacky germs to be quite amusing. I mean, gameplay is what I go for, but there's no harm in there being a little bit of substance. If Pac-Man and the Ghost were just black cubes, would the game be as memorable? Hard to say, but I'm getting off track. There are some nice effects thrown in for good measure though, like the shaking effect every time you annihilate a germ. It would have been nice if there was a haptic response every time you did that too, but I guess that can be a bit of a battery drainer. I'm not that fond of the sound, but hey, it can be turned off. It's not immediately irritating, but it's not something I would have enabled while on public transport. In fact, if you're making any sort of phone noise on a train, let me just plan out say that I fucking hate you. No, Darrow slash Chav slash Lad, I don't want to hear your crappy rap song through your crappy speaker on your crappy Nokia feature phone. But gosh, I'm rambling again. I know it seems like I have more bad things to say than good for this game, but it is one that I would recommend nonetheless. I found the core game mechanic quite solid and addicting, even if it does need a bit of tweaking and balancing. These are things I hope will be tweaked before release, or at the very least added in a patch later on. The game will be released on the 31st of May, but only on Android devices. There are currently no versions planned for Windows or iDevices, which I guess is a shame if you own those, but since Android has market share at the moment, it's a choice which makes sense to me. It will be free, using what I understand is an ad-based revenue model. A special thanks goes to Kevin for sending me a review copy of his game. If you have a game you've developed or are currently developing which you'd like me to review, please don't hesitate to drop me a line by the inbox system. Maybe it'll inspire me to finally create something myself, but probably not. YouTube calls and making these videos takes a lot of time, so yeah, oh well. Thank you for watching though, I'll catch you next time.